Hey, everybody. These rich dummies been real excited for this year, haven't they? How about just for a little story time, just for fun? Let's just say that that's because maybe these guys are Kabbalistic fake Jew Masons, and under the help of Saturn and the fallen angel demons, they've created this Stargate that uh, they're trying to open up and either are trying to escape or they're trying to open the gates of hell and let something out, or both. And let's say that this is the third time that they've done it, and around 2017, 2018 is when the next big universe perfect alignment is going to take place and it's going to be their time to open this thing up. Let's just say that, just for fun story time. Now, is that what's going to happen? I don't know. But I do really honestly think that CERN and the Sun are connected in some way, whether it be scientific, scientifically, magnetically. I mean, I don't know. But I do think that, but that's just my opinion. Because I don't think all this stuff is coincidence. Just like whenever I made this video, I didn't think it's coincidence that it was reported that CERN was waking up at the end of last year, and then the beginning of this year, what happens is massive coronal hole in the Sun. So it's no surprise to me that according to them, because let's, let's assume, I mean, I don't know for sure, I'm not going to call them up and ask them, but let's assume this is the schedule they're using. According to them, they're doing powering tests right now and have been all month, and I guess they're going to be doing it some more. And look what we have now. Massive filament snakes over half a million miles across the sun's surface. And look, think about all the earthquake activity we've had. All the swarms in Yellowstone so far this year in Texas and Oklahoma, they got them all a little concerned over there had a couple big ones right and think of all the volcanic activity man it's crazy here's an awesome uh, video from higher truth channel love this channel those guys do great work over there talking about how it's been pretty nuts lots of eruptions in just a few days i think all this stuff is connected i really do but who knows you know i'm just sharing what i'm what i'm finding here's what the thing looks like and i think this is funny this again just sharing opinions 533,000 miles long 5 for the 5th age 33 for the 369 for Saturn for the system for the Kabbalistic tree of life and then 67 here's your 13 just my opinion though and these things can erupt causing CMEs and, and what have you uh, here's from 2014 here's one that erupted here's another filament uh, September 29th 2013, magnetic filament of solar material erupted on the sun, creating a canyon, fi uh, canyon of fire. Here's another one, in, a big one in uh, 2012 that wasn't Earth-facing, but it did affect our atmosphere and caused supposedly the or some aurora borealis in uh, the Yukon. And I've been looking around. I haven't found any credible activity, or I'm sorry, credible evidence uh, that this thing is, this current one, is Earth-facing. But... Uh, who knows what will happen when it erupts. And I do think it's very coincidental that ever since CERN's been waking up, it's been reported for months as well now that South Africa has been dealing with some problems over there with their power grid, and they've been dealing with a lot of rolling blackouts. And so then yesterday it's reported South African Power Utility said on Saturday it was imposing Stage 2 rolling blackouts due to pressure on the national get, grid, excuse me, and then the stage two means the utility is reducing nationwide demand. So I just think that's pretty interesting that this is happening at the same time. Um, and it's funny to me that this is, comes out recently. The Earth's inner core has its own inner core. Because it's really weird to me that in all these pictures, all the time with NASA, you never see any stars. And it's funny that right here, I mean, no stars there, but yep, yeah, well, clear as day. I mean, it's just makes me wonder if this thing is really the inner core, as they were just reporting. If this is really the inside, on the inside of the Earth, and not out in space. And what we're looking at in space is something different than what they're showing us here. Because something's got to be heating up the lava, right? Something has to be heating the internal core of this planet, or whatever the hell this place is i mean i don't know i'm just throwing that out there i really do believe this is this is on honestly i really do believe if people would just get along that we could figure this stuff out i mean look at the stuff we've, we've figured out so far but there's just too much bickering too much ego 
I don't care if I'm right or wrong about this this stuff. I just want to get to the bottom of it. If I'm completely wrong, so what, man? Who cares? I really think we could figure this stuff out. But arguing about crazy stuff and people got agendas. I know they do. I don't know what they are sometimes, but I know they do. There's just not that many real people out there that are trying to get to the bottom of this stuff, and it sucks because it just it drives me nuts when I sit and stare at this thing, and I just don't believe NASA. I don't, man. I do not believe them. And I'm just thankful for people like Dreams Within Dreams because she keeps fighting, and, and she's really helped me in the last couple of times because I've been feeling pretty discouraged. But And I'm thankful for every one of the subscribers out there, too. You, you are all saying a lot of nice things, and it helps because it just, it just gets why well, I haven't really been posting a whole lot. It just, it just gets frustrating is all, but... Just going to go through dips whenever you do this stuff or up and down, so I'm good, though. So just wanted to share this video with everybody. Thank you for bearing with me at this crazy, nonsensical talk, and thank you for the continued support and the nice things that are being said. I really appreciate it.